Filmmaker mode is a mode in which we can ensure that the original intent of the filmmaker, the technical aspects of the film and the way in which we finished the film in the edit suite uh, in the color timing room gets to the viewer the way that we intended. Um, modern televisions have all kinds of incredible possibilities in terms of their technical capabilities but that also means that we need to be sure that the original intent of the filmmaker is carried through to the presentation at the home. Uh, and filmmaker mode is a way of doing that. The Film Foundation was created to restore and preserve classic films as they were intended to be seen. Most people today are watching these classic films at home rather than in movie theaters. Filmmaker mode is of particular importance when presenting these films which have specifications unique to being shot on film, on celluloid, including you know, the size of the frame, their aspect ratios, their approach to light and shadow, to color or black and white, uh, many different things, in each case absolutely unique to the given film. Filmmaker mode is a long overdue and welcome innovation. I think that I, I care deeply about how cinema is experienced at, at home and in the ancillary markets because that's where it lives the longest. You know, that's where cinema is watched and rewatched and experienced with your families and in, in comfortable settings. That's kind of where the memories are, are developed. I think the viewers should care about Filmmaker Mall because it gives the viewer another choice. If they're consuming this piece of art, why not give them the choice of, of being able to say, okay, this is how the, the, the artists themselves wanted it to be seen. You know, this was the, this was the intention. As filmmakers, we live, eat, and breathe our movies. We live and die for our, for our movies. We put a lot of thought into them. We make a thousand decisions a day, literally, about the, about the sound, the color, the light, the shadow, you know, the performance, the emotion. That's what we do. And that's what makes the movie what it is. I think that it would be incumbent on all the people who, who make the devices that get the movie out there in so many different forms, so many different sizes, so, so many different ways of viewing it, to honor what the, what the filmmaker intended. With all these advances um, in these televisions, now is a great time to introduce this. because It's just impossible to ignore what the technology can do. And that's kind of preserve the intent, preserve the purpose, you know. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to see this movie on your television how it was meant to be seen. Hey, I'm J.J. Abrams. Hi, I'm M. Night Shyamalan. I'm Christopher Nolan. I'm Ava DuVernay. Hi, I'm Damien Chazelle. I'm Ryan Coogley. I'm Christopher McQuarrie. I'm Ang Lee. We're the Duffer Brothers. I'm Ryan Johnson. I'm Paul Thomas Anderson. Hi, I'm Judd Apatow. I'm Reed Morano. I'm Martin Scorsese. I know the world is crazy and there are bigger fish to fry than this, but I gotta say, if you wanna see movies as they were intended to be seen. How all of us intended. The way it was intended to be seen. The way it was intended. To see this movie the way it was intended to be shown. In the way it was intended to be seen. You should see them in the way that they were meant to be seen by the people who made the films, by the filmmaker. Watching it in filmmaker mode is the best way to ensure that. Please watch it in filmmaker mode. In filmmaker mode. Watch it in filmmaker mode. You should watch it in filmmaker mode. In filmmaker mode. In filmmaker mode. 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 You should use filmmaker mode. It's the only way to watch it.